You know, you really have to forget everything you think you know about your cat. Seriously, the cartoons, all the old myths, it's pretty much all wrong. Some incredible new science has just completely shattered our understanding of how cats see, and it reveals a world that is, well, it's darker, it's brighter, and it is way stranger than we ever could have imagined. Go on, I'll wait, take a look. That little creature probably giving you that classic unblinking stare, it is not seeing the same room you are, not even close. Okay, so let's really get into this. We're about to peel back the layers of our reality and try to see through the eyes of that little furry observer in your home. And trust me, it's like taking a trip to a whole different dimension. Right? First things first, we have to remember what a cat really is. Yeah, it might be small, and okay, it probably loves a good nap on a pillow. But its eyes, its eyes are the hardware of a miniature panther. They're engineered for one single purpose above all else completely mastering the dark. It really all comes down to the biology, the raw hardware. Our eyes are just packed with these things called cone cells. They're great for seeing all the bright, vibrant colors in daylight. But a cat's eye? It makes a fascinating trade-off. It gives up some of that color perception in exchange for an absolutely insane number of rod cells. We're talking up to 10 times more than you have. And these rods are the light-gathering sensors. That single hardware difference, it changes everything. And here's where it gets really mind-blowing. All those extra rods mean a cat only needs about one-sixth of the light that you or I do to see with perfect clarity. Just think about that for a second. What we would call pitch-black darkness to them is just a dimly lit room, totally navigable. So the second you flick off that light switch, you're stumbling around blind as a bat. But for your cat, oh, that's when their world just turns on. Shadows become pathways, boundaries just melt away, and your familiar living room completely transforms into a map of opportunity, just buzzing with details you will never, ever get to see. But look, night vision is just the starting point. This is where things get truly, truly weird. Really recent breakthroughs have confirmed something incredible. Cats can see in the ultraviolet spectrum. That's a whole range of light that is completely invisible to our human eyes. So, what does that actually mean? Well, for a cat, things that we see as totally normal are just radiating with this hidden light. Your own skin, for instance, reflects UV light in these subtle, glowing patterns. You are, quite literally, a walking, faintly glowing piece of abstract art to your cat. And it's not just you. The air itself is different for them. You know those little dust motes you see dancing in a sunbeam? They don't just float. To a cat, they shimmer like tiny sparks. And the trails left by insects on your walls or floors, they glow with this faint light, almost like little neon tracks. Even your laundry is putting on a light show. A lot of laundry detergents have chemicals in them to make whites look brighter to us. Well, to a cat's eyes, those same chemicals react with UV light, making a plain white t-shirt just explode with these brilliant hidden shades of blue and purple. So, if you put all of that together, that room you're sitting in right now, it's not just a room to your cat. It is a fluorescent jungle. It's a landscape where reality itself just glows with this secret layer of information that we are completely blind to. And this brings us to that behavior that every cat owner knows so well. The intense stare at what looks like a completely blank wall. No, they're not seeing ghosts. They're seeing a version of reality that is at such a high resolution that your brain just wasn't built to process it. Let's break down what's actually going on when they stare at that empty wall. For starters, cats see motion at twice our flicker speed, so a tiny gnat we'd miss is like a jumbo jet to them. They're seeing UV light bouncing off a spot where the sun was shining hours ago. They can literally detect the twitch of a single one of your hairs from across the room. And there's even new research suggesting they can see tiny color shifts in your skin that show your blood flow and even your emotional state. But all of this sensory information can actually be focused. When a cat's hunting instinct gets triggered by a sudden movement, you know, a toy, a bug, your foot under the blanket, its brain physically rewires how it sees the world, and it does it in real time. So when it enters this predator mode, everything that isn't moving just becomes visually muted. It's like it's grayed out, unimportant. But the moving target? Oh, that becomes super high contrast. It almost pops out from the background, and it even gets magnified. Their peripheral vision expands to this nearly panoramic sweep, and their depth perception gets so sharp that a six-foot leap is just a simple calculation. 
And this just shows the huge difference in how you both perceive the same moment. You might be totally relaxed just watching a show, but to your cat who just saw a dust bunny move in the corner, the entire room is just transformed into a high stakes battlefield and it is the only soldier on duty. Okay, so we've covered the dark, the ultraviolet world and the hunt, but that leaves the one question we almost never think to ask. When your cat looks right at you, what does it actually see? Well, thanks to some really advanced simulations based on all this biology, we have our best guess yet. That bright red shirt you're wearing, to them it looks like a muted grayish green. Your face isn't just skin, it's got that subtle UV fluorescent pattern we talked about. Your eyes, because of how they reflect light, look like glowing orbs. And your movements, because their brain processes so much faster, you look like you're moving in slow motion. Your actions are exaggerated and incredibly easy for them to track. So, what this all adds up to is that you are not just a person to your cat. You are a warm, glowing, constantly shifting giant. A strange creature that radiates heat, is covered in light patterns they can't see, and wears its emotions right there on its skin. And here is the beautiful, kind of crazy paradox in all of this. Despite seeing you as this towering, strange, glowing being, this tiny, apex predator has decided that you, this slow, half-blind creature, are its safest place in the entire universe. Which really brings us to the final thought here. When you look at all this, it becomes pretty clear. You aren't the owner. You're not the boss. In your own home, you are the slow, predictable, and wonderfully weird alien. And that little creature sitting across the room from you, it's not just your pet. It's an incredibly sophisticated biological observer that has been quietly studying you and ultraviolet for its entire life. Kind of changes how you see them, doesn't it?